Now, earlier in the program, we spoke with former Canterbury Television CTV receptionist, Mary Ann. She was the sole survivor of 17 CTV staff members who were in the building that day. We wanted to talk about its structural, well, its strength, really. The Canterbury Television chairman was Nick Smith, and very quickly we asked him if he had any reason at all to believe the building was unsafe. No, I didn't, and uh, I always thought that uh, so strong, it appeared so strong, that uh, I would never have thought that there was any issue. And when the council re it or re it and said it's OK for, for occupation, I thought at that time, well, that must be fine, let's go. So that was after the September earthquake, between September and February? It was, yep. And so in good faith... That building was occupied by people who believed it was safe. Now, what the Royal Commission told us was that it was not safe from the outset, that the design was flawed, but you had no idea that that was the case, did you? We certainly didn't, and our partner, Murray Wood, and unfortunately died in the earthquake, he was wanting to buy the building for his own purposes. So if we'd had any concerns, he would have made that quite clear, and obviously we didn't have any concerns. Nick Smith, who was the chairman of CTV, 